because I'm going to have Chromebooks every single student. I'm, I'm jealous of the students that are going to be able to go to school here. is starting after Labor Day this year, there is still plenty of labor taking place, largely behind the scenes, before those first school bells ring. Here in Prince George's County, all 212 schools, including the brand new Fairmont Heights High School and his newly renovated Glen Arden Woods Elementary, are getting their finishing touches in those last minute details. New and returning teachers are already planning their lessons. And parents, yes, they're making their lists and checking them twice. Like the coming of the dawn, August is reliably the start of back to school mania. The hunt for new supplies, cool clothes, and superhero backpacks heats up as everyone tries to beat the bells of opening day. For some Prince George's students, that hunt couldn't be easier as free goodie bags are on their way. Thanks to generous donors, backpacks stuffed with school supplies were loaded onto buses for student pickup at the big back to school fair at Baysox Stadium. Of all the shiny gifts awaiting the 130,000 students on September 6th, none will glisten more than Fairmont Heights' new high school. Rising on what was once the golf course of the Prince George's Country Club, the magnificent two-story building with its spacious gymnasium, unique black box theater, and media center decorated with lights that are also works of art, is poised to carry on the familial devotion felt for the 67-year-old school it is replacing. Fantastic too is the totally renovated Glen Arden Woods Elementary, where a former courtyard is now a soaring atrium, hallways are broader, and digital learning, as well as shooting hoops, are now possible for the very first time. That's all right. Wonderful gymnasium. It's a combination of gymnasium and the cafeteria. But this is something that will really excite the kids. It's huge, it's nice. I'm excited myself. <laughs> <laughs> but for all the euphoria of getting new things and free stuff, sometimes it hurts a little getting ready to go back to school. Immunization clinics have been administering government-required vaccines throughout the summer to keep students and their peers safe from infection. Since the policy is no shots, no school, hundreds have been crowding centers like the International Student Counseling Center to get properly inoculated and appropriately placed in what for many is a whole new world. For kindergarten, first, second, and third graders, they will need two varicellas, which is a chicken pox vaccine, as well as two MMRs, that's measles, mumps, rubella. If they're entering for the first time um, and they're going to the seventh, eighth, ninth, or tenth grade, or even repeating tenth graders, they will need um, an MCV4, which is a menin meningitis vaccine, as well as a Tdap, which is a, a tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis uh, vaccine. And while some of the new school year preps are highly visible, like the new artificial turf football fields being laid at Roosevelt, Flowers, Northwestern, and Bowie High Schools, all to make the playing surfaces safer for the athletes, laying the groundwork for the best new teachers a student could ever want is occurring largely out of sight inside the walls of Wise High School at the Professional Educator Induction Program. Let's take a peek at the peeps at PEEP. This is the fourth year we've had this program. And we started out with about 100 people, then 150. Last year we came in at 200. This year we were at 250. So every year we're growing and it just gets better and better every year. This is my first time professionally teaching. Um, but it's not my first experience with uh, the county. I'm actually a product of the county. And my father and my uncle are both Mr. Coleman in this county. They're administrators. Teaching is in your blood. Did you feel that? Yes, I felt it. I mean, we're just one big happy family here at PGCPS. The whole HR process, it's been so pleasant and everyone has just been so welcoming that my entire viewpoint has like completely like 180 change and I'm like really excited to work here. With the curtain about to rise on the new school year, it is time to check your supplies. Book bag, lunch bag, notebook, pen, 
<laughs> but don't check your enthusiasm or your commitment to making 2017-18 the best school year ever.